Hey guys, this is Vimeo 91 and I'm talking about Star Wars Nice the Old Public. Now, this is all just a rumor. It's coming from Bepspin Bulletin, who spoke on a recent Bob the Podcast episode about this project that is said to be in development outside of EA and that we'll never guess who the studio is that's making this game. So, this is not being made by EA or Bioware apparently, but just based on this insider, they are working on a new Knights of the Old Republic game, right? Now, this is all a rumor because it's just based on the insider. We have no clue whether this is actually being developed or not. But if this is, what could it be? Because the storyline was already continued with the Old Republic MMO. And even though the MMO had some, you know, like, like Revan's ending for the Empire version at least wasn't the best. But I really do think that most of the stories were completed pretty well. Plus, if they made a Rep Knights of the Republic 3, you'd probably have to disregard of what happened in the Old Republic, because I don't think that Knights of the Republic 3, I mean like an exact continuation from 2, would really work out that well. But, I have some speculation, and these are just my speculation, these do not come from the article, that what they could be doing here. Maybe it's just a remaster. I don't know. Maybe they're just going to remaster both Knights of the Republic and Knights of the Republic 2. Now, I probably wouldn't be interested in playing Knights of the Republic remaster, but Knights of the Republic 2, maybe if they did the restored version. You guys remember how the game, I think, was kind of rushed and they couldn't complete certain things in the game because it was rushed, I think. But then, like, I think modders came and they found the data or did whatever and they, like, restored certain, like, missions and stuff in the game. But in any case, if they did that, I would maybe play through KOTOR 2 again if they brought the restored version of it. But that's, once again, just my speculation. My second theory would be that maybe they do it and set it after Old Republic. I wouldn't be too sure about that because that'd be kind of hard because if they set it after Old Republic, you'd have to, so many choices because, you know, Old Republic has about, in total for both sides, eight different classes. And for all these different classes, they have different storylines and they have so many choices that you can make. So I'm not sure if making a game set immediately like after the old public would make much sense. Like I, I haven't played through Eternal Throne and most of the extra stuff in the old public yet, but I just don't think so. Number three. Now this is the one that I think really could happen. Imagine if they made a Knights of the Old Republic Mandalorian Wars. Now that would make sense to me because yes, that'd be a prequel to the first game, and there's probably a lot to go through there because the Mandalorian Wars. I don't think that's ever been fully touched in like games or even the comics or movies or the shows like it's been mentioned and it's been talked about and like it was said that the sith were actually behind it or something like that but at the same time i don't think it's ever been fully shown so having the whole game based around the mandalorian wars maybe you're a jedi who went with revan right i wouldn't mind that that could be a pretty good game in my opinion who knows maybe even play the um Exile, the one who from KOTOR 2. And maybe maybe the story ends with that flashback in 2 where the Exile gives back his or her lightsaber. But these are all just theories. So what do you guys think this new Knights of the Old Public game could be? Do you think it's a remaster, a direct sequel, or a direct prequel, or none of the above? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.